viewers, I am Will Keith, and this is the full gun tutorial for hot dogs, horseshoes, and hand grenades. This isn't meant to explain how the mechanics of the game itself work. The developer has his own blog series that explains that stuff very well. This is um, targeted towards people who just don't know how to use firearms and just going to explain the mechanics of every gun and how to work them correctly. So, um, we're going to start with pistols here. The uh, G22. The pistols are pretty much all the same, but let me just equip a few different ones here. What I'm doing right now is these are kind of your um, action bars here. You can pull guns from them, pull magazines from them, and when you put When you put a magazine in there and you press down on the left thumb pad while you're in that circle, it turns it blue, which means you then get infinite magazines from that slot. Can't do infinite guns, sadly, that would be fun, but um, no matrix yet. Alright, so what you want to do is to pick up your gun, simply move this blue, these blue dots here, these are the actual uh, interaction points of the controllers, that's what's going to be actually interacting with everything. So to pick up the gun, you move it over there, pull the trigger one time, don't hold it down, and that picks up the gun and now that's just in your hand. And pushing the grip buttons on the side of the controller drops it. So to load the gun, you take the magazine, just slide it right up in there. It's a bit finicky with some guns. The G22 here is really easy to manage. Some of the other pistols are complete pictures with that. Then you pull the slide and you're ready to shoot. It's semi-automatic, that means each time you pull the trigger it fires one round. There's a uh, fully automatic version of this gun as well that fires as long as you hold the trigger. Right. Now to reload, a couple different ways to do that. Um, well, technically only one way to do that, but it depends on if there's still ammunition in the magazine or if it's empty. Right now there's still ammo left in there, so what you want to do is press down on the right thumb pad to drop the mag, slide another one right fuck. Slide another one right back up in there. And it's ready to shoot. And now when it's empty, you see the slide will stick back like that. Drop the mag, you want in. And now you can either press left on the thumb pad. Press the left on the thumb pad. And you can either do that or just grab the slide, pull the left trigger. It does the same thing. Now, as I said, all of the semi auto pistols were pretty much the same. This one's real pitch to load. Oh. Sucks. I know I'm kidding, I was going properly. 
take it, put the mag in. Now this is pretty cool, even though the controller doesn't really have a stock, still got the interaction, you can pull that back here, slide this out as uh, much as you like pretty much. And it's supposed to be the shorter stock, but since there's no physical stock and it's a built one for it, not much point to that other than cool interaction. And then once the magazine is in, you pull this back there, and then you push up on the thumb pad. You hear that click? Ready to shoot. And now this one's really cool because you don't have to do anything to keep shooting once you do that. Whoops, I forgot to lock in the mag over here. Alright. Once you pull it back once, you're just good to keep shooting without doing anything else. Much more accurate, even though there isn't really a target over there. 
Alright, now we're going to the UMP for 35. I hope this guy looks really cool. Magazine. This is, in my opinion, the hardest flow gun in the game. It just, it doesn't work right. It just slides out of the way. There we go. Now, same thing with the safety. This one has three modes, but for technically safe, single shot, two shot burst, and fully automatic.
and it's better for the rifles, pretty simple over there. They have a lot of cool attachments. Let me just switch through them so you can see what they got here. Lots and lots of optics. Um, what have we got left here? Ah, uh, yes, the shotguns. Let me reset the scene. Alright, we are almost done. Shotguns. Great, whoa! Get back here. Alright. Now, this is one of my favorite guns, like, ever. Um, you press left or right on the right thumb pad. To, wait, yeah. Hang on a second. Yeah, left or right on the right thumb pad to open it. Then you just take the shells, slide them right back in there. Work pretty well. Now if you close this in a few ways, you can just do it the burrowing way and click it shut by holding the trigger on the left here and closing it. You can do it the terminator way, where you throw it back and click it shut like that. Or if you want to do it one handed but can't get good at the flicking, it's based on physics so you can just close it on the table like so. Uh, no safety, just pull the trigger, two shots, good to go. Now, left or right on the right thumb pad, hold it back, drops the shells, put them back in. There you go. Simplest gun pretty much ever. Now, this here, the M1014, you got the uh, basic semi automatic shotgun here. Now to operate this, put it back, insert one shell straight into the receiver, close it, then invert the gun, slide, three, four, five, six, seven. The gun holds eight shells all together, one goes right into the receiver, seven, goes underneath and semi-automatic to reload all you gotta do is put a one in there when you're done shooting this stays up you have to pull it back up again put one in the receiver close it Put in however many you want up to seven, but I'll shoot like that. So, out the way. Then we go to the uh, Marshall. We got, I don't need this here, we have a belted. This is your pump action shotgun. To load this, hold the uh, left trigger on the pumpy device. I'm using layman's terms here so everybody knows exactly what I'm going on about. Put one right in there. Pull that back out. And now load. This can hold up to four in here and one in there. I might be mistaken, I might be able to five in here. One, two, three, four, five. Yes, you can hold five. Yep. So you get six shots all together. Alright, I think that's about it for all the guns. Oh no, I forgot this. The revolver. I love this guy. This is a speed loader, you can lock that in, and you can also get, where is it, there we go, you can also get individual rounds right there, to open the revolver, press 
on the right thumb pad. And then you can either take the individual bullets, put them in manually. You can rotate this by holding the left trigger on it. And now to close it, you just flick it to the right. And this is a double, rat, double, double action revolver, meaning that it will shoot if you only pull the trigger. We can also push down on the right, down on the right thumb pad to pull the hammer back. And that means you need a shorter trigger pull. That makes a huge difference when target shooting in real life, but in game it doesn't matter at all. Trigger has no weight to it. And to unload it, to unload it, push left on the right thumb pad again. That opens the cylinder. And then if you just lean it back like this, it's not going to come out. You need to move the left interaction point onto the stick, pull the trigger, and that will push in on it and drop all the shells. Now the speed loader can be finicky or it can be easy. It's kind of hit or miss. So just try to line them up and stick it in there. See, I missed one. There we go. Go on in. Takes a bit of practice, especially if you're going to be doing the uh, timed shooting challenges in the modular range. So, I guess that's about it. I guess I can um, go over to the cyber handgun over here. Same as any other pistol. Uh, and this feels weird because it's like way further back than the actual controller is. Looks weird, but it works just the same as any other pistol. Plus, you have that laser sight there for quick target acquisition. I personally hate that thing, it's all clumsy and big. So, now I guess it's really easy end of this video, and see you next time. Have a good one. Enjoy the game.